Welcome to the Pearl City Charger Marching Band season wrap-up. My name is Chris Otuka and I'm the assistant director at Pearl City High School. Thank you all for coming to our final performance for the 2021 season. Over the past five months, these students have shown enthusiasm, resilience, and dedication putting together their show for this year. Rehearsing under the coronavirus pandemic came with its own set of challenges, but the students have been very adaptive and rose to the occasion. I'm very grateful for the hard work each of our students put in to make this season happen. We have a fantastic staff here at Pearl City to help guide the students through the season. I'd like to recognize a few individuals that helped make this season a success. Okay, first, we have our director of bands, Mr. Chadwick Kame. Wherever he may be. Uh, next, we have, um, we have our assistant director, we have Mr. Chris Lopez, and also percussion instructor. Uh, we have Daniel Wood, our percussion writer, and also another percussion instructor. We have Noah Tributo and Malia Tozan, percussion techs. Mr. Jimmy Escabel, percussion or guard instructor. Mr. Colby Pakupak, woodwind instructor. And freshman advisor. <laughs> Uh, we have Mr. Colby Odo, Woodwind Tech. Yeah, Mr. Clement Zhang, Brass Instructor and also Highlands Band Director. Yeah. Mr. Steven Richter, Brass Instructor and Videographer. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Tristan Terashima, Brass Tech. Uh, we have Mr. Andrew Ching and Mr. Greg Akamine, marching instructors. Uh, Mr. Daniel Lim, Highlands Band Director. Uh, Mr. Joseph Hoffman, Pro City High School Principal. And we'd also like to thank just the administration and staff of Pro City High School. Last, we have uh, Pro City Band Association, Mr. Lance Hayashi, Ms. Joy Takara, Mrs. Jody Fong, Mr. Stacey Oho, and Mr. Ryan Hishiro. Okay, um, I'd also like to recognize our leadership team for this year. Okay, um, our leadership team has worked extremely hard this year, um, helping the directors and the staff put the show together. Um, when we're on the field and we're doing everything, our staff and the directors can't do everything, so. These are students that step up and they really go above and beyond to help the other students, to help everyone else, um, you know, learn their music or learn their spots. Um, we have librarians, equipment monitors, and equipment team. They work hard each practice to ensure that we have productive rehearsals and we, we have everything that we need to ensure that there's a specific rehearsal. Um, yeah, I really hope that each of our section leaders and members of our leadership team see the growth in their section as well as the growth that they were able to um, that they themselves went under to become a leader to their peers I'm very proud of this group for what that they have um, accomplished through the season okay uh, flute section leaders we have Casey Honda and Daniela Rocca clarinet section leader of Jessica Akoili Saxophone section leader, Mia Monzo. Yeah! High brass section leader, Timothy Evans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Low brass section leaders, David Togami and Alex Addis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Percussion section leaders, Mara Monterio and Jenny Gorospi. Yeah. Guard section leaders Bianca Tamayo and Kavehi de Boma. Yeah. We have our hard working equipment team. We have Alfred Chalk, Je Abby Fujii, Javi Miguel, Mindy Yoshimoto, Resha Maraoka, and Sakina Lozano. Yeah. Yeah. Librarians Arame Domingo and Erica Kanda. And attendance monitor Hannah Marie Tokiwa. So without these members, um, we wouldn't be able to have um, productive rehearsals. We wouldn't be able to get as much done with the band as um, we can. So can I give our leadership team another hand? Okay, um, our final thank you.
thank you goes again to everyone here, the parents of our members. Thank you for the sacrifices you make to allow your child to be involved in band. Um, I was a former band kid. You know, I went through this program myself as a student. Um, I, re you know, I remember all the things that my parents did for me, like taking me to rehearsals, taking me out to eat after, or you know, just driving me around. But it's it's a lot of work. So again, I never fully appreciated it when I was a kid. But I hope your students do. So thank you guys for what you do for your students. Yeah, we really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Okay, um, yeah, so this performance, this performance is to thank the parents for, what, for everything they've done through the season. And it's been unfortunate that we haven't been able to perform um, for a live audience, or even for you guys live, so it's really nice that we're able to perform now. Okay, um, well, yeah, enough talking from me. On to the main event. For our performance tonight, the band will be performing their 2021 field show, Fantasmic. Movement one is titled Part One, Mickey the Sorcerer, and features Timothy Evans on trumpet. Yeah, Movement 2 is titled Part 2, Disney Princess Medley, and features Timothy Evans on trumpet. Yeah, <laughs> and Movement 3 is titled Part 3, Finale. You're not going to say it? Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, Pearl City Charger Marching Band, you may now take the field. <laughs>
Thank you, everyone. Can I give them another hand? again for um oh, yeah thank you again for coming out to our performance and this time we'd like to recognize our seniors seniors when i call your name um you're just going to come to the front uh we'll just line up in front of the podium over here okay um alexander addis yeah! alfred chalk Please congratulate our 2021 seniors. Thank you again, everyone, for coming out to see our final performance tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you.